G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva and we are having a great time today. We are going to be looking at how to create a splatter effect. One of um, a great design and you can get carried away in so many ways in this one. So let's get started. Let's go to elements and up in the search bar here we want to type splatter splatter effect or any of the any of that terminology and we want to look through here so like I was uh, informed in many tutorials prior to this one don't choose splatter effects like this or this or may maybe that one but not that one that one looks okay this one is a good one even this one you can muck around with so I'm going to choose this one so that is the abstract ink illusion all right, so I'm going to click on that and that will appear on my canvas. The other thing I will do is go back to elements and add a shape. So with the shape, we want to make sure that the shape is tied to the image. Okay, so I come down here. We want to change this color to yellow and we want to send it to back. Now, we want to also change the ink splatter to white. Okay, so now that we've got that, we just want to make sure that the frame is sort of tightish into the ink splatter. Okay, like that. The other thing that we can do, which I've seen, is we can sort of move that up can add another element, change that one to the yellow color here, and I'll send this to back to show you so we can sort of do something like this. We can duplicate, I, no, why did I duplicate the wrong one? Delete that. All right, go to layers, show layers. We can duplicate that. All right, we can send that to back. And just basically allows us to be a little bit tighter around some items. Anyway, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to worry about that. That was just something I thought I'd show you. So just go back to this yellow <coughs> and drag it out there. So now that we've got that, we'll go to share, we'll download, download as a PNG, download, it'll save and we want to canvas bladder, that's the one, yep, so we'll keep it on that one. Go splatter frame just to call it something. Go save. Now open up a new page. Change the page color to really any color that you want. I'm changing it to black and we want to upload the splatter frame. So we'll do that. Once that's uploaded, we'll place it within our frame and the black reveals that there's a white background. So we want to go over to edit photo, click on edit uh, background remover and it will remove the background and we'll have this that will appear. So we'll just <coughs> tighten that up like that. All right, leave the size of the frame as it is for now. It'll just allow uh, a better sort of um, uh, clarity to the image that we produce. We'll come over here and go to search elements and we can type in portrait of female. So I've done this before. Uh, let's go see all. All right, we can choose a portrait 
other females. So just scroll down through, click the ones you're after. Um, let's see. Maybe if we choose, choose this one. All right, we can leave the background in. We'll just uh, tighten up this frame around the image. Okay, and there, I want to get the head in. Move it over, we'll send it to back. Tidy this up. Some more emails coming through for when we work, which is great. Um, all right, we'll just go layer and show layers. Click on the female. We'll just make sure that she's within the yellow frame. Okay, so that looks all right. So now what we'll do is we'll change the background to the color of the frame, which is yellow. And we will go to share, download, download um, page two. Let's download. That will download. We'll just use the same file name. Go save, go replace. All right, we'll go to new page. Uh, go to uploads, upload files, splatter frame. All right, we'll change this page color to white. Go to uploads, click on the splatter frame, and that is the splatter frame done. So the next part of the tutorial is basically just adding some color to the frame. So we can go background remover, edit photo background remover to remove the yellow. That will give the splatter frame by itself with no background. So we can reduce this. All right, and then we can enlarge this out. We can center it. There's center there. All right, now, if you want to add a background, we can come over to background here and we've got a variety of backgrounds. So we can just choose a plain color background, which we had before. We can add landscape backgrounds. We can add patterns, gradients, abstracts. There's a wide variety of backgrounds we can use. Um, let's just have a look. So maybe if we choose what are we going to choose okay let's choose maybe let's choose this one all right so as you can see the background's been added and the photo within the splatter frame is there all right so <coughs> excuse me for my voice it's not working for me today but that is the first part of the tutorial and the second part of the tutorial done. Um, as you can see, the sort of the clarity of that photo is getting a little bit blurry, so you can drop it down a bit. Um, and then maybe when you go to save as, you can increase the resolution uh, of that photo and it will look better. Um, but that's pretty much it for now. So we can go position go range, we go center and middle, make sure it's right in the center or not. So this looks like a bit of a party uh, invite. So we can go text, we can go add a heading, um, 30th birthday, can put that up there, uh, go color, we can change the color. text, add subtitle, you are 
invited to Jane's party. Okay, we can justify that one. We can bring it in. Maybe let's just keep it to the left. <coughs> here, bit of a design, um, subheading RSVP by 29 May 24, justify that, okay, drop that down to 20, work is coming in, Okay, so there you have it. So from a simple splatter frame, we've uh, put together a birthday invitation. So there you go, uh, Canva peeps and design peeps. Hope you enjoyed that, learned something, and we'll see you next time. Fun with Canva. Bye for now.